Okay, y'all, this is my plea. I'm being held captive against my will. Somebody please come save me. It's been rough. Okay, no, I'm really here. So this is proof I am alive. Don't be looking for me on a milk carton, um, although that might be a better alternative. So I just kind of wanted to pop in on you guys and um, just... I'm going to talk about a whole lot of nothing. And really by a whole lot, I mean very little. Because I literally just walked in the door, changed into a t-shirt that's, you know, passed the sniff test more than anything else. Because laundry hadn't been done in a really long time. Uh, I'm not wearing real pants because I got out of those. Because y'all know I've gained weight and they cut my, my stuff off. So, like, I can't breathe. Um, and I'm about to log back on like I do every night and get some work done. So, um, I wanted to come at you and just let you know I'm still here I'm still around and for those of you that have stayed true and you know been pulling for me thank you love you it means the world uh, but this is real life and sometimes real life is crazy messy this is day three or four on the hair I really don't know I got dog boogers and I, Cheetos I don't even know what's in my hair okay it's pretty gross pretty stinky pretty nasty um, I just keep dry shampooing the mess out of it I, I can't remember to bathe today I think I have so that means I'm good till I don't know tomorrow or something but um, sometimes life gets messy sometimes life gets so busy I'll see the bags under my eyes I literally work until I crash and get up and do it again uh, so sometimes it's like that you know life isn't always rosy and um you know, sometimes it's hard to find balance when you have a lot going on, a lot to do, a lot to take care of. Poor Caden. I mean, I walk in long enough to go fix a sandwich or something. What's your name? What grade are you in? Are you passing all your classes? Because at this point, that's no exaggeration. I really don't even know what's going on around me. Okay. It's a sad reality, but that is my reality right now. Uh, it stinks. Um, but this too shall pass. I always work a lot, but I've been working a lot, lot lately. So, um... Not sure my name, not sure anything really. Like I said, clothes aren't getting washed, bathrooms, toilets aren't getting scrubbed, the dog's not getting bathed, I'm not getting bathed, Caden might be getting bathed. I really don't know because I'm constantly going um, and trying to get some stuff done. So, anyway, I say that to say that that's why you haven't heard of me. Some of you are probably jumping for joy and like, man, that was a good ride while it lasted. She's back. I don't know when I'll fully be back. I'm not going to talk about makeup. I'm not going to talk about anything today other than life can be brutal. It can kick your behind sometimes. Um, again, no makeup, no earrings, dirty clothes, real dirty hair. Like, I don't even want to know what's hiding in this mess. I, I mean, I don't even think I can get my fingers through it. I mean, it's pretty gross. Anyway, I got a good two more days, though, before I wash it. So, um, anyway, I'm mad at myself because... I can't always find balance, and as a woman, um, just as a human being in general, sometimes we expect perfection from ourselves. We really want to keep it all together, and y'all, I'm not keeping it together. Not by a long shot. So, I'm mad at myself because I haven't been the friend I should. I haven't been the mother I should. I ha really haven't been the worker I should because I'm working so much that my brain's like, what? Um, can't have a rational thought sometimes. It's pretty scary. Pretty scary. Um, so I am mad that I haven't reached out to, to some of you. I'm mad that I have friends that are like, girl, when are we getting together? We need to catch up. We need girl time. And I'm like, I can't, I can't. <sighs> That's not the way life is meant to be lived. And I'm preaching to the choir because I know these things, but applying them is something totally different. Um, so, for those of you that love me in spite of the fact that you've been waiting to catch up with me for, I don't know, six months, a year, 14 years, whatever, whatever it's been, you know who I'm talking to. Um, I'm sorry. You are on my heart and in my mind all the time. I just cannot dig out. I don't know what's happening. Um, so... Rather than continue to be mad at myself, I'm going to give myself a pass. I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to promise to try to do better, knowing that I probably won't because it's who I am and I can't say no. <laughs> and I can't stand up and speak and go, I'm drowning. Uh, I need some help. Um, but it just is what it is right now. So hopefully very, very soon I can get my clothes washed get my behind washed, get my hair washed, get the dog washed, 
and if Caden's not grown at that point, maybe he'll do a video with me or something. I don't know. But um, be kind to yourself when life is kicking your behind. Uh, don't be mad at yourself for whatever happens for, you know, going out in public looking homeless or psychotic, really, because that's kind of where I am right now. Um, be kind to yourself. Be, be kind to others. Lord, I preach that all the time because daily, daily, I have to restrain and refrain from doing things to people, you know, and I don't know what's going on in their life, but what I know is I'm under a lot of pressure. I'm under a lot of stress, so my emotions, my sensitivity to aggravating things is uh, really sensitive, and um, I can snap at any moment, but... Um, Seriously, for those of you that keep reaching out going, girl, what do you, what do you need? What can I do? Are you okay? Um, it means the world to me. I know I don't respond like I should. And I promise I literally am going to sit down and make a list of everybody I owe drinks or dinner or girl time or whatever. I'm going to make a list and I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go, you know what? It can wait. Um, and I don't know, I, I, I know a lot of you out there are probably, and it's not a man-woman thing, it's probably more of a woman thing if I'm being fully honest, but uh, it's an overachiever thing. It's a people-pleaser thing. And those things, while good, can be such a curse. It's so hard to be everything to everybody. And I'm struggling, and I'm at a point where I'm no longer efficient and I'm not being everything to everybody and I'm certainly not being anything to me. So sometimes you need time for yourself and I don't know what the solution is. I don't have the answers. But what I do know is I've been gone for a while. I don't even know. It feels like, it feels like years. It's probably only been, I don't know, months maybe? I don't know. Anyway, um, I am going to get to it really and truly this is not as bad as it gets in, in about two more days when this hair is like matted and like uh i'm gonna do a video that's what i'm gonna do because y'all want to see it but seriously like i do have on some eye makeup today and i slapped on some lip gloss y'all see the zit you see these under eye bags i don't have on any foundation because it's all i can do to get my tail out of bed and do it all over again every day I'm sure some of you have been there. I'm sure some of you are there now. So if you're in that boat, stick it out, be strong, hang tough. And when people are reaching out to you, don't do what I'm doing. Don't push them out. You know what? Some things can wait. So I'm at a point now where I'm about to start letting some things wait because relationships and the people in your life are really important and nothing's worth that. And right now I'm sacrificing that and I realize it and I really am to a point where I don't recognize myself. I don't, I don't like what I'm becoming. I don't like my mental state. It's questionable at best and it's questionable on a good day, but it's questionable in a fun way usually. Like, mm, should I, shouldn't I? Now it's just, am I okay? <laughs> am I going to be okay? Or am I going to be on the five o'clock news and the 11 o'clock news? And in the history books, because it's, it's getting to that point. So, some of you can probably relate, and some of you are like, oh yeah, when, she, when it happens, I'm not going to be surprised, because I know her. I know her real well. Um, but, I, um, I promise, I'm going to get my crap together. I'm going to get my workload and my to-do list manageable. I'm going to be a better mom. I'm going to be a better friend. I'm going to catch up with some of you that it's been way too long because I miss y'all. I really do. I, I've i kind of gotten lost in who I am with who I'm supposed to be and all the things I'm supposed to do and I think a lot of you can relate. So, um, Let's all get together. Let's just have a big party. Let's get together. Let's catch up. Let's something. Something. Because I, I can't do this much longer. So, anyway, I am alive. I know some of you are not happy about that. Hopefully, some of you are happy about that. And uh, I just kind of want to let y'all know that. That I'm still around. It's just been a lot of stuff going on. So, um yeah, I'll be back with you soon. I know I say that a lot, but I, re I really am. Uh, it might be stupid stuff. It might be 
you know, more of this, a lot of nothing talk. Um, but life is that way sometimes. So uh, let's let's all make it a point to control our lives and not let our lives control us, I guess. Um, so that's my goal. I don't know if I can muster up the strength today to do it. I can't even muster up, muster up the strength to wash my hair. But um, we'll get there. We'll get there together. So anyway, if you have any questions, message me about whatever it may be. If you want to solve the problems of the universe, I am willing to help you do that because I love to take it all on. Please. <laughs> but I love to take it all on. I really don't. I just do, and I can't say no. So I'm like, yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. I'll get it done. Oh, Lord, my hair's falling out. But anyway... Um, we're going to get there. We're going to get there together. And I am looking forward to getting back to the grind and catching up with some people that I've kind of let fall to the wayside for a long, long time. So uh, anyway, have a good night. I'm going to work now. Even though I said I was going to do better, I'll start that tomorrow. Promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. All right. Have a good night. Bye.